Hello, I'm Scarlett, and today we're going to be setting up single tenant mode on Acuvox Cloud. Okay, let's start by navigating to ecloud.acuvox.com. You require an installer username and password. This is provided by your Acuvox distributor sales team. Once we're logged in, you'll see the option for Acuvox or Acubella portal. Let's choose Acuvox. For this tutorial, ensure your installer role is set to single tenant manager. Okay, let's create a new site. Start by creating a unique name which is relevant to the site. For us, I'll call this Mrs. Jones. The room name can be kept empty. You can either enter an email address or mobile number. In our example, we'll add the end user's email address. This will be used for logging into the Acuvox Smart Plus application. Ensure to select United Kingdom for the country. Again, the mobile number is not a required field. Now let's fill out the end user's address details. This is used for your reference and for future updates, like weather functionality on the indoor monitors. SIP or IP calling is important to understand. If all your devices are on the same network, then IP calling should be selected. Otherwise, if you're using a 4G router, separate networks, or an E18 LTE, then you should select SIP call. Time zones and language should be preset to London and English. Unless you require the landline calling service, which is a premium plan feature, you can ignore these three boxes. Home automation is used for Acubella products. Keep this disabled if you're using Acuvox products. Premium plan should be disabled unless you require landline calling or other premium features like third-party camera streams in the Smart Plus app. Let's now add the indoor monitor to our single tenant site. If you don't have an indoor monitor, then keep this option off. Since we have an indoor monitor, let's turn this on and fill in the indoor monitor MAC address and the location it's going to be installed. For example, we'll name this hallway. Relay one and relay two here relate to the relays on the indoor monitor. These typically are disabled in most installs. Now let's click submit. Now we've created the single tenant site for Miss Jones. Here you'll see the email, family members and more options. Let's now select the device icon to see the devices within the site. Our indoor monitor is added and already online. Let's go ahead and create the intercom. You can also add additional monitors using this option. Change the device to single tenant door phone. Enter the intercom MAC address and then the device location. We'll use front gates as our example. If you're using more than one relay, you can add this by selecting add relay. Now let's click submit. Great, now all of our devices have been added into the Acuvox single tenant site. If you have any devices which are displaying as gray, don't be alarmed. This is usually fixed by rebooting the device. The indoor monitor must be online for you to access the Smart Plus application for the first time. If the device is still gray after rebooting, then try a factory reset. Otherwise, if this fails, then please contact technical support at CIE Group and they'll be able to support you.